Hi everyone, welcome to Hunters Connect. I'm Dale, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the different subspecies of wild turkeys and where to find them here in North America. Wild turkeys are one of the most popular game animals in the world. The American wild turkey is broken down into five different subspecies, each of them displaying a different physical and behavioral characteristic that ultimately defines them. There's the Eastern, the Osceola, Rio Grande, Miriams, and the Goulds. Let's start with the Eastern. The eastern subspecies is the most abundant of all species. Their range is as far south as Florida, up the eastern seaboard to Maine, to as far west as parts of eastern Kansas and Oklahoma. In fact, you can find them in 38 states and numerous Canadian provinces. Easterns have chestnut brown tip tail feathers, white and black bars on their wings, and are the most widely distributed subspecies. Adult males, or gobblers, weigh anywhere from 18 to 30 pounds. They've got the strongest gobbles and can sport the longest beards. Next, the Osceola. The Osceola subspecies is unique as it's only found in southern Florida. They are very dark birds with almost completely black wings, dark brown to black tips on their tail feathers. The gobblers will only range about 16 to 20 pounds, but don't let their small size fool you as they'll have the longest spurs and are considered to be the toughest species to call in. On to the Rio Grande. The Rio Grande subspecies is concentrated in western desert regions. They can be found from Texas and New Mexico all the way up to some parts of Nebraska. Because of introductions along the west coast, Rios are also found in Washington, Oregon, and California. The Rio Grande will have more tan colored tips on their tail feathers with similar white and black bars on their wings like the Eastern. An adult gobbler will weigh right around 20 pounds. Next up, my personal favorite, the Miriams. The Miriam subspecies runs from New Mexico and Arizona all the way up to Idaho over to the Dakotas. They have very light colored tips on the tail feathers and the rump feathers. They've also got more white than black on their wings. Gobblers will be in that 24 to 30 pound range, but they are considered to have the weakest of all gobbles. They'll also have shorter beards and spurs due to the more mountainous regions they inhabit. Finally, the Goulds. The Gould subspecies primarily resides south of the border down in Mexico, but can be found in small patches in southern Arizona and New Mexico. With snow white tipped tail feathers and rump feathers, they have moderate coloration in their wings. They are long-legged like the Osceola, but gobblers can weigh anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds. Like the Miriams, they have weaker gobbles, shorter beards, and have the shortest spurs of all five subspecies. Hopefully this video has given you some more insight to what kind of turkeys you're seeing in your neck of the woods. Also, if you're thinking of giving turkey hunting a try, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we have a lot more turkey hunting knowledge headed your way this spring. Thanks for watching Hunters Connect. Bye.